And the cold temperatures outside have many trying to warm up inside as we reignite that annual relationship with our furnaces and heaters. Our Fox 12 Zach Anders spoke with companies today that say they've already seen a big spike in business. Hey, Zach. Hi, Bonnie. I'm sure it's probably warm where you and Mark are inside, but it's very cold out here where I am. And we've been going around talking to some of these companies that try and get people to have their furnaces, get their furnaces running right. And for a lot of us, it's that first time we're going to the thermostat in a while and hitting that button, hoping that something's going to come out of it. And for the unfortunate few of us, it's not going to work. Now, if you're like me, you go to the hardware store, try and pick up the parts to fix it yourself. Sometimes some of those problems, though, you need a professional. And the professionals have been telling us they've been plenty busy. Furnaces can be a fickle thing, whether it's a bad wire or burned out motor, a lot can go wrong. And it seems like a lot of folks are already running into troubles. An install every morning and a service call till night. Normally, folks don't turn their furnace on until the middle of October, and we're getting a, a burst here right uh, right at the end of September. Jack Brockway owns Beaverton Heating and Cooling. He's seen an earlier than normal demand for business. We work in the in the cold and we work in the heat. So if it's not cold, we're twiddling our thumbs. And if it's not hot, we're doing the same thing. So this early dip into winter like temps has been good for business. It seems like there's too many calls to handle sometimes. Everybody's trying to turn their units on at the same time. And so many of them haven't maintained them that they sat for too many months in a row and now they're not wanting to fire up. Jack says it's always a good idea to fire up your furnace late in the summer or early fall just to make sure it's working properly and if it isn't to have work scheduled before things get really busy. And the best thing you can do to keep a furnace in good condition. It, it all starts with that that filter. If your filter gets plugged, then there's no air going through the filter. Your your fan motor's working harder. It just stresses the equipment, and then that's where you could crack your heat exchangers, you could burn up your circuit board or, or fry your, your fan motor. And as was mentioned, now is a great time to change your filter in your furnace. Jack recommends every three, four months, uh, or sorry, three, four times a year to change out that filter. Now that uh, seems like a lot for somebody like me, so you can come down to any hardware store and pick them up and try and get ahead of the curve as these colder temperatures are going to continue, at least in the short term. Reporting live in Northeast Portland, Zach Anders, Fox 12 Oregon.